Here's a uh, quarter hour cuckoo clock uh, that I'm working on. Here's the uh, uh, movement out. Uh, the right side bellow. Uh, never did have the uh, top piece for the topper. So I'm going to make one out of this scrap wood. And um, um, uh, put it on it. Here we have the top cut out and it's thick enough that I can put the uh, 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 hardware that needs to go on and for this type of clock the hinge has to go in the back so I'm going to take my Dremel and sorry y'all can't see that um, with this type of clock the hinge has to go in the back and the hinge area has to be beveled so it can tilt up and down. So I'm going to take my Dremel and bevel this part out. There I have it beveled out. I also need to add some weight, probably a nickel. Um, the nickels work really well to, for the weight. So uh, I might... Uh, cut out some of this wood for the nickel to fit in and I might not I probably won't and the reason why I say that is because um, the problem with these clocks is you got to put hardware in them and if you got weight in them then you can't put your wires too far into the wood so I think I'm gonna just glue the weight on top of it and so next step I need to do is put some bellow uh, paperwork on this and uh, I have plenty of YouTube videos that show you how to uh, uh, repair bellows with Tyvek material again you use your own material uh, but if you are a subscriber to my YouTube channel you can easily find repairing bellow YouTube videos I hope that you subscribe now these were already clean uh, bellows. The wood was already clean. From start to finish, it only took me about four minutes, uh, a little over four minutes to make it. Uh, if you had to clean the wood off, you need to add another five minutes. So for 10 minutes, you can replace the bellow top versus uh, buying the whole top, which is uh, quite a bit of money saved if you uh, talk about uh, getting paid by the hour now I need to uh, add the uh, uh, wires uh, assembly uh, um, for this uh, for this clock I cleaned up the uh, case with old English oil there's no sense in use in the expensive new life uh, furniture mask or Howard bead wax um, on a novelty clock like this and the old English oil is what I always used to use uh, it did a really good job of cleaning up this clock um, I got the movement uh, out and in my ultrasonic cleaner uh, again, I do not take these uh, novelty clock movements apart unless I absolutely have to. And uh, if you watch the uh, uh, previous videos that I made, uh, you'll understand why. Uh, so whenever I get the movement out, I got the bellow um, um, uh, made. Here's the bellow. Here's the wire I was talking about. I stole this wire from another clock. Um, I, it, these wires can be made, but it's a pain in the butt to make them. Uh, getting the uh, the actual spring area where that nail is attached is the hardest part. Getting it really uh, wrapped up tight. But uh, whenever I get the movement out and oiled up, we'll put this thing all back together. Also. I also wanted to mention that the uh, thermostat on these things, uh, I have a, another one that's missing the thermostat, uh, Hobby Lobby, uh, no place I've been able to find and locate a thermostat, 
So if you know where to find a thermostat that that small, and it's only about uh, two to three inches uh, long, let me measure it real fast. Uh, it's one and three quarter inches long by five eighths inches wide. So if you all know where I can obtain those, uh, please let me know.